Hello guys! Today Mr. Shankus is going to explain the Redox reactions and here it is. Here we have a beautiful equation. To determine the reducing agents and oxidizing agents, you have to determine the changes of oxidation state in the, in the reaction. So here we have copper oxide. Copper oxide consists of copper atom and oxygen atom. Oxygen has a negative oxidation state, which is negative 2, so copper is positive 2. Copper heat is alone, no, no different atoms are combined with, so it is 0 oxidation state. Same here for hydrogen, no foreign or no different atoms are combined with. Okay, but here uh, hydrogen has positive 1 oxidation state and oxygen has a negative 2. So now let's start studying the changes of oxidation states for uh, atoms. Here we have copper and copper oxide. It was neg it was positive two and then it turned to zero. So we have decrease in the oxidation state from positive two to zero. So we have reduction in process here, and we consider the whole compound copper oxide as oxidizing agent. What about hydrogen? It was uh, zero oxidation state and then it turned to be positive one so here increasing the oxidation state is considered as oxidation process so hydrogen here is considered as a reducing agent okay let's take another example just to enhance our understanding here we have a redox reaction also, and it is a combustion reaction, which is uh, the reacting of methane, which is a gas, with oxygen. Okay, so let's start determining the oxidation state of carbon and methane. It is negative 4, but from where we got negative 4? It is according to the rules of oxidation states. Hydrogen has oxidation state of positive 1, so we have 4 hydrogen atoms. All right, and then we got it to be negative four. Here we have oxygen. It is considered to have a zero oxidation state because we don't have different atoms combined with oxygen. Carbon is positive four in carbon dioxide, and we got this according to this equation. We have two oxygen atoms. Oxygen has oxidation state of negative two. So with some math here, we got the carbon to be positive four. For water molecule here, we have positive 1 for a hydrogen and negative 2 for oxygen. Okay, as we see, look at the carbon here inside a methane molecule. It was negative 4 and then turned to be positive. So we have increased in the oxidation state. So we considered methane here as a reducing agent. What about oxygen? It was 0 and then it turned to negative 2. Here we have decreasing the oxidation state, reduction in process took place, and oxygen is considered as oxidizing agent. Okay guys, let's complete the rest. Here we have a beautiful equation. All right, let's start in determining the changes of oxidation state. Here we have zinc. Zinc here is a free atom. No different atoms are combined with, so it's considered to have a zero oxidation state. Same for lead. Okay, what about lead nitrate? Lead nitrate has a charge or oxidation state of positive 2. From where we got the positive 2, it is as a result of nitrate. Nitrate molecule has a negative charge of negative 1. Here we have two molecules of nitrate. So the overall charge of nitrates here are negative 2. The changes of zinc atom, it was oxidation state of 0 and then turned to positive 2. So here we have an uh, increase in the oxidation state. Zinc is a reducing agent. Uh, lead nitrate, uh, lead here had a positive 2 oxidation state and then it turned to be 0. So here we have a decrease in the oxidation state, reduction in process took place, and lead nitrate is an oxidizing agent. Here we considered the whole compound, the whole compound as oxidizing agent. I hope you understand guys, thanks a lot from Mr. Shangus and if you have any questions below you can ask us in the comments and thanks a lot.